So, over the past two years of my life, I have been living in this really cool city called Kelowna. Located in the south of British Columbia, Kelowna is home to orchards, vineyards, mountains, and so much more. I absolutely love it here, and I'd love to tell you why. What's going on my dudes? My name is Noah Vander Erden, and for those of you who may not know me, whether you're new to the channel or you've been around here for a while, but I just haven't introduced myself like this. I'm a 24 year old travel filmmaker. I also own a video production company and I live in Kelowna, British Columbia. I've been thinking over the past little while that I wanna start implementing myself and my personality a bit more into these videos. Now that's not to say I won't continue doing the travel and video content that I normally do, but I also wanna sprinkle a little bit to know in there. So with that being said, I thought I would create a follow-up video to some of the videos I created just about two years ago when I moved up here. I created a handful of videos detailing my move from Vancouver to Kelowna, how I moved, why I moved, things like that, and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So now that I've been up here for two years and I plan on staying up here a while longer, thought it'd be the perfect time to follow up on those videos and tell you guys why I love Kelowna so much. Let's go on a walk. We're most definitely racing against the sunset here, you guys. It's so stunning out there. Hopefully we can get this done. The first thing that I have to touch on is the amount of adventure and things to do in and around the city. I've actually created two videos over the past little while that you can check out up there. One is a summer travel guide and the other is a winter travel guide. And that will go more in depth. But straight off the cuff, you have so much to do outdoors, whether that's hiking a mountain like I'm doing right now, catching the sunset, they're always beautiful. Another reason I love Kelowna. Going wine tasting, snowboarding, swimming, wake surfing, you name it, there is so much to do. The best thing is, and I'm sure you can get a taste of it from that last comment, is that Kelowna is a year round destination. In the summer, you have the lake, which is conveniently placed right behind me. And in the winter, although it's a bit cold, as you can probably hear in my voice and my hands feel like they might fall off. But in the winter, you have the mountains and they're beautiful. The city, in my opinion, is the perfect size. It's quite big, as you can also see right behind me, but it's not too big. I came from Vancouver and more specifically Surrey, which is quite a large city compared to Kelowna. It's nice because in Surrey, it feels like you're in the big city and that you have to go outside to escape that. Whereas here, it feels like we're in nature. Like the city is literally right there. We have the lake, which you can spend all day on and not really see anyone. Or you have the mountains surrounding the city. There's so much that you can quickly escape to, but then you have somewhere to go back to. It's not like those cities in British Columbia and other parts of Canada, where there's a population of 50 people. There's still a whole ton happening in Kelowna, but in my opinion, it's a really good environment. Out. Another thing that's really important, specifically if you live here, if you don't and you're just visiting, it's not that important, but specifically if you live here is the opportunity that Kelowna has. One of my big concerns as I moved up here was the fact that Kelowna might not have as much opportunity as Vancouver in terms of business. I started my video production company two years ago, just before I moved up to Kelowna, and I was worried that when I got up here, there wouldn't be a whole lot going on, and they'd be quite a bit slower as the population is quite a bit smaller than Vancouver. Thankfully, and this was surprising to me, I was proved quite wrong. There is a whole ton of opportunity in this city, regardless of your field, and that's really nice. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I have a feeling it's because Kelowna is the largest city in the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia. So if there's business that is happening in the Okanagan Valley, it's kind of taking place in Kelowna. I mean, obviously every city has their own thing going on, but this is the hub. It's been a great place to start and grow my business. The connections are amazing. The community is so inviting. I've met amazing people, amazing clients, and I've had such a good experience overall. Another big thing, and it sort of ties on to my last point about the opportunity in Kelowna, is the fact that Kelowna is growing and it's growing fast. Seriously, in the past two years that I've lived here, they have built so much. Some of the those high rises didn't even exist when I moved up here. It's interesting and a bit of a running joke in Kelowna, but most people that you meet here did not actually grow up here. A majority of people that you run into in the city have moved up here over the past couple years, just like myself. I think they chose Kelowna for all of the reasons that I've already mentioned. Plus, the real estate market is quite a bit cheaper here than it would be in Vancouver. However, I'm not at that stage of my life yet. I'm still renting, so that's not a worry of mine. Finally, to wrap it all up, I've chosen to stay here in Kelowna because it's the perfect city for the season of life that I'm in. There's plenty of opportunity. It's a great place to be starting a business. It's growing rapidly. There is so much to do outside and it's pretty beautiful. All in all, I can't really complain. 
Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys all in another one.